So, you've made it to the science section. Go ahead, put away your beakers, and back away from the magnesium phosphate, because this section doesn't test your sweet lab skills, it deals with your ability to read about science. You'll read passages that cover subjects you might have studied in high school, like biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. I know that sounds like a lot of different topics, but think like a proton and stay positive. <laughs> it's simpler than you think. Let's start by talking about the format of this test. You'll have 35 minutes to complete 40 multiple choice questions. There are usually seven passages with five to seven questions for each, so plan to spend about five minutes on each passage. Each passage will test a different kind of reasoning skill. Don't worry, you don't need advanced knowledge in these subject areas, but you will need some basic understanding of scientific terms and concepts. You'll have to read information and draw conclusions, often from charts and graphs. You might also need to perform simple math computations. You won't be allowed to use your calculator, but you shouldn't need to. Just like in the reading section, the questions don't follow the order of the passage, so you don't need to answer them in order. They also aren't arranged in order of difficulty, but keep in mind that the first questions are often easier. You'll see three different types of science passages presented in no particular order. The three passage types are one, data representation, two, research summaries, and three, conflicting viewpoints. The data representation passages are usually pretty straightforward. They ask you to use graphs, tables, and other schematic forms to answer questions. Typically, you'll see three of these passages with five questions each. Each passage begins with an introduction. And here's a pro tip. You only need to read the introduction if you want a general idea about the topic. Otherwise, save time by going immediately to the questions, which will direct you to a specific chart, diagram, graph, or table that contains the answer. Research summaries are the second type of science passage. You can expect approximately three research summary passages with about six questions each. In these, you'll read about an experiment that was conducted and the studies resulting from it. Then you'll compare the data, evaluate the experimental methods, and interpret the results. Conflicting viewpoints are the third type of science passage. You'll find one conflicting viewpoints passage with seven questions. This passage will take on two or three controversial concepts. You'll be asked to evaluate the arguments for each, identify the points of disagreement, and note the evidence that each scientist presents. The conflicting viewpoints passage is more time consuming because it contains more reading and more questions. You may want to save it for last. That's it for your introduction to the science section. We'll be digging further into these strategies later.